In today's video, I want to share with you why you absolutely need a sinking fund for Christmas. What's up guys, my name is Justin and welcome back to the channel where we make little changes with huge impacts on our lives. If you're new here, I upload videos with different tips and tricks to help you improve your life, so please consider subscribing. Christmas is coming, but that's nothing new. We know exactly when it happens every year. And yet sometimes it takes a moment of sheer panic to realize that we should have started saving way earlier in the year. Oh my God, Christmas, Christmas is coming. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I didn't save any money. Oh my God, I'm gonna go broke this year. My kids aren't gonna get any presents. I just, I don't know. Instead of opening a store credit card for that sneaky 10% off, why not just start using a Christmas sinking fund? There's no reason to risk busting your budget this Christmas or to fill everyone's stocking with coal. You know, even if Sarah down in accounting deserves it. Neither extreme is necessary because making a sinking fund isn't complicated and you can start saving up right away. Trust me, the you of Christmas future will be so grateful you did. And you might be asking yourself, well, well, what exactly is a sinking fund? With a sinking fund, you save up a small amount each month for a certain block of time before you spend. To determine how much you save, take the total amount to be spent and divide it by the number of months or weeks you have left until you need to make the purchase. Let's say for example, you wanna spend $800 on Christmas this year and it's already November. That leaves you only two months to save, which means you'll have a section in your budget reminding you to stash away about $400 every month until Christmas, which also means you should have started saving a lot earlier in the year. And of course, it doesn't have to be just Christmas. You can use a sinking fund for any major purchase or bill as well. Just save up a little bit over time so the expense doesn't blindside you all at once. Because Christmas comes every year, it's not a surprise. You already know it's coming. Yeah, but but Justin, that, that pretty much sounds exactly like a savings account. So what's the difference? Honestly, there really isn't a difference. A sinking fund is usually more specific than a savings account since you know exactly how much you'll put in and when you'll use it. You know you wanna save $800 and you need that money saved before the 25th of December, if not sooner, so you can get started shopping before everything is gone. Honestly, it all comes down to being intentional. If you're saving for a new car, next year's vacation, your anniversary gifts, your son's retainer, and your Christmas presents, all in the same savings account, chances are sooner or later, the lines will start to blur. Instead of lumping everything together in your savings account, be deliberate and specific by having multiple sinking funds separate and safe from all the other important things you're saving up for. Have a new car sinking fund. Have a vacation sinking fund. Is your refrigerator acting up? Have a sinking fund for that as well. If you do open another savings account for your Christmas sinking fund, make sure the account doesn't have a minimum balance to maintain. Kind of like a money market. You don't want your money to be eaten away by fees like my little kids nibbling on Santa's Christmas cookies. If you're in baby step two, then you already have your emergency fund saved away and your sinking fund needs to be separate from that as well. Yes, a sinking fund is different from your emergency fund, much different. An emergency fund is money set aside for the unknown. If you're on baby step one, then you should have at least $1,000 stashed away. If you have a fully funded emergency fund, you should have three to six months of expenses saved up for any and all possible emergencies. Sometimes we call this preparing for a visit from Murphy. You know, like Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. If your air conditioner burns out and you have to replace it, it won't feel like an emergency, only an inconvenience. Why? Because you're prepared with an emergency fund. You have no way of knowing these things are coming or when they'll happen, but you do know that life happens, so you have the money set aside and ready. With a Christmas sinking fund, you know exactly what the money's for, and you know roughly when you'll use it, sometime before December 25th. I like to think of it as the sinking fund being for the known, and the emergency fund is for the unknown. So how exactly do you create a sinking fund for Christmas? It's actually really, really easy. No. 
No, really, it is. All you have to do is take out your budget, throw a category for sinking funds on your budget, set a specific amount you can afford for Christmas each month, and then start putting money aside each month and watch the sinking fund grow. It is important to know how much you already have, the amount you plan to save, and what your long-term goal is. Keep track of how much you have saved and how much more you need to save. If need to cut back on some other expenses to clear room, for your Christmas sinking fund. In December, your Christmas savings will be fully funded and you can savor the season instead of feeling like a Grinch. You know, your heart two sizes too small because you're feeling pinched for every extra money. I wouldn't recommend you keep all that money stashed under your mattress. Since you're saving up for the most wonderful time of the year and could have hundreds or even thousands of dollars laying around, a simple savings account at the bank is probably a better idea. You can get to it easily and you won't have a pile of cash laying around if the wet bandits break into the house. You know, home alone. All this sounds easy, doesn't it? That's because it is, but it does take patience. We live in a culture where we buy now. We bring an item home today. It, it's not enough to wait for standard shipping, so we opt for express and pay extra. Even Walmart has jumped on the two day shipping craze. If you have patience and a plan, then a lot of the cost and worry associated with the season won't be there. You won't find yourself tempted to glue together a credit card from the shards of the shred pile. You know, you, you did cut up your credit cards, right? You slice that sucker up for good because you know there's a better way. Saving up ahead of time prevents stress. So start that Christmas sinking fund and make worry a thing of Christmas past. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you found any value in this whatsoever, then please throw me a thumbs up and comment down below with a tip that has helped you be more prepared for Christmas. We've been doing our sinking fund for Christmas for the past couple of years and it has made the holiday season a breeze. And if you've got this far and you have not yet hit that subscribe button, do that right now. I'm waiting. No, really, do it. I don't want you to miss out on any of my videos because we're gonna get out of debt together and stay out of debt together one tip at a time. And as always, let's keep growing.